Hey everyone, this is uh, Black One Seven here, and today we'll be discussing our our week one battle of the KCBL. So, so right now we have a pretty much a little bit of deja vu. So we are up against uh, Bear and the uh, I believe the Rainbow the Hawaii Rainbow uh, War Turtles. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. So, um. Regarding this battle, um, like there were some threats he had, like the Agron, the Machamp, especially the Machamp. I was kind of concerned about that one, and Malamar, since Malamar could just keep boosting and boosting and boosting, and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> not the superpower increases with Contrary. <laughs> but yeah, um, so for this game, it was kind of like, like I already had a team in mind. But at the same time, I was just like, this can go really, really well or really, really bad. So, um, so right now, as you can see, my opponent brought um, Star Raptor or Ariados. So expect like webs and T spikes. Venusaur. This is not a Mega Venusaur. This Mega is a uh, Mega Altaria right there. And Rotom, Alolan Muck. So there's some threats. Um, the one, the biggest threat obviously is the Seraptor because it could just, it could be Choice Band, Choice Scarf with Reckless and it could just two shot everything on my team, so I gotta be very careful about that, so I do have dedicated, like, Pokemon to deal with it, like we Weezing and even, like, Intimidate and Crocodile. Like, if it wasn't for, like, Staraptor and even Altaria, I probably would have, like, ran Moxie on Crocodile, but I have Intimidate. But Intimidate's always a good ability to have, so. Um, for this game, I realized that it really came down, like, I, I wanted to have a, a Manaphy just because, like, his team is very somewhat weak to it, and especially if I just laid it straight out, but, or, or a late game, so, but this time I felt like, you know what, a late game Manaphy could just do a lot of work once I get rid of, like, Star Raptor, unless he has, like, Scarf Rotom or, like, a Venusaur, so. Like I said, I have three attacks, Manaphy with Agua Berry. I do have Surf, Skull, oh, not Skull, Skull, Surf, uh, Energy Ball, and the, uh, what do you call it? Ice Beam for the Altaria and the Star Raptor and Venusaur. So I have a uh, Melt Tank, which is kind of interesting, with Facade, Curse, a Milk Drink, and a uh, Gill Bill, because I wanted Florches to have Defog, because I didn't want, uh, <laughs> Body has to have another to carry defog, so <laughs> because I didn't want Muck to like just pursue Trav Latias all the time. And there's a coverage move I'll talk about that once that happens. So, um, the floor is a standard cleric set with like you know, wish protect and defog, just defog there. Uh, Crocodile is Steel MZ because I want to have a way to smack, um, either the Muck or like, or not the, no, like the Altaria. As well as like hit something really hard, like let's say for heavy damage. But yeah, since it is stronger than stab EQ for like one, one time, let's say like on a Star Raptor or like Venusaur, in case I want to hit it there. Weezing has a Wisp, a Sludge Bomb, Rain Split. Um, that's about it. I think. I think that's Thunderbolt, but. Um, lastly, we have Latias with the same cover. Like, I think it has Ice Beam, Psychic, uh, my secret tech op option, which we'll get to, and uh, Roost. So, we get the battle started. So, right off the bat, we lead with our Poison Protect Pokemon. So, there's not really much I can do. Like, I kind of anticipate him leading, like, Ariado, so, um, I go for the burn on Ariado, just to burn, since he is a physical attacker, mostly, unless he has, like, my. Nightshade, so that could be a problem, so. Um, he has a sticky web up on the field, so. Here he's gonna go for T-Spikes, as he's just gonna keep, like, setting up those hazards, as you'll notice. Um, regarding my plan, my plan for this, to attempt to get rid of the hazard stacks with Florges. Of course, Florges is gonna get poisoned, but I don't think Florges will mind, so. Um, here, I didn't want to let anyone take a hit, so I wanted to see what he can do. Um, I just go for Sludge Bomb, anticipating him to switch out to Rotom, but um, 
like I kind of I kind of wanted to go for like sludge bomb here, but like just because in case like Rot Rotom came in just to poison it, like he goes to the Star Raptor, and of course I there's nothing really I could switch into, or none of my mods could switch into this very well. So yeah, there's not really much I can do. You can just spray bird me, and I hopefully I can just connect with the wisp. To me, that looks kind of banned damage, but I can't tell because Star Raptor just does so much damage. Yeah, Star Raptor just kills the Star. Just kills this thing. I do have Rocky Helmet just in case for Altaria, and also to reduce to weaken the uh, the uh, Star Raptor, but like for chip damage. So. Um, I do lose my Weezing, however, I gain Forges in as a free sack, or a free switch in, so, um, this is a good time to just get rid of these hazards, because this is going to be annoying to have, now that Ariel's is gone. He doesn't have any rock setters, so that's going to be cool, so if I do set up rocks with Crocodile, that'd be amazing, so, I do go with the debug to get rid of the hazards. He's going to go Mega, and, uh, you know, for Dragon Dance as I just... Probably anticipating like a top a heal bell, but I go for the moon blast anyways because I wanted that thing gone. Um, I go for he goes for earthquake because I go for another moon blast and it just knocks him out. So I don't think he expected that. I thought he was like so. Um, he goes for Venusaur, knocks out my Florges. Um, just talking about the Altaria thing, I think he kind of expected something. I don't know. I think he should have went for a turn there. But, um, but he was able to get rid of, like, my Flourishes, nonetheless, with, like, Venusaur, but at the cost of Zeltaria. Like, I think it was, like, for him, that was a little bit too early to pull the trigger of Altaria, but, um, yeah, so. He's still in a good position, so, somewhat, so. Here, I go for Psychic, and on to the incoming Muck. And you might think this is a good matchup for him. However, here reveal reflect type. And as knockoff doesn't do anything to me because I am now dark poison type with levitate. So just let's, let's just sink that in right there. A dark poison type with levitate basically has no weakness aside, you know, Moldbreaker, Haxorus if you want to go. <laughs> Really, you want to go very, like, strict on that, so. Or some Mold Breaker mod, so. Basically now, at this point in the game, like, I could kind of wall his entire team with Latias. Which is kind of funny in, in a way. But, then again, I don't know this in Lexa, because this could be, um, this could be, like, specially defensive with, like, Curse. Wasn't he? So... That could be a problem, so I just keep spamming Ice Beam. Obviously he's trying to go for Poison, but, uh, but of course he can't Poison me, but... <laughs> he's just going for Poison Jab, just to chip me down. I think as soon as I reveal Bruce, that's when, like, um, you'll see he goes into Rotom. And, yeah. I'm not doing that much damage to him, which is kind of bad. At the same time, it's like... I don't know. Like... Like... He's not doing much to me, and I'm not doing much to him, so... I go for Reflect type again, because... I didn't want to get paralyzed, but he just burns me instead, and I'm like... I'm fine with this, because I don't have any physical moves. I don't have Earthquake. I just keep spamming Psychic here. And I am Electric Water type now, so with Levitate, like Rotom. So, I go for another Reflect type. I know, because I know I could just live any hit from the Muck, so... I just keep roosting here. So, it doesn't really matter to me. So, here I just go for another Ruse. I honestly think I should have just attacked here. Because I would have weakened the. The, uh. I should have just attacked here. Because I would have, like, weakened the. The Rotom, so. Well, then again, I don't know if he has Pain Split, so yeah. Here I go for Psychic, just do some chip damage. I do get the special defense drop, and he gets the Leap Seed, so. Um, if there's one way for him to get back in this game, it's like getting all this residual damage and recovery, so. Um, now he can pretty much stay in with Muck all he likes, so. I could try to go for the freeze here, but I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna go to Mark Armor. So. Owl. So. Here I go for the. 
knockoff on the anticipated like Rotom. I honestly wanted to go for the knockoff just to see what item the muck is, whether it's like gluttony or assault vest. So I go for another knockoff and I think this was a roll in my favor though. But it was definitely he had a good chance to live, so but I wanted to get this off so that way like I get rid of Rotom. So yeah. Um I did risk my crocodile there, but like there was a good chance I could get, kill the uh, Rotom, so yeah. Since it's over to, it was already at low HP, so. Now I decide, you know what, I'm gonna go for rocks. I know it sounds dumb for going for rocks because it's already the very end of the game. But there's not really much muck can do, so. It's mainly just to weaken the Venusaur, so yeah. Because obviously I'm just gonna knock him out with Earthquake, so. And lastly, I just. The Venusaur comes in, and I just finished the game off with the Z Corkscrew. Iron Tail or Corkscrew Crash, and. Yeah, that is a good game to uh, bear, push lead, and we're chatting in the t and like basically we're just talking about what's going on. So, like, given that uh, bear is in Hawaii and like I'm in California and stuff, so um, those are uh, a little some stuff we were talking about, like regarding like the sort of like type that was like. I'll admit that was kind of like the reflective Latias probably just I don't want to say one made the game, but it just it just became like a massive impenetrable wall or fortress or flying fortress dragon thingy that just that just Okay, just basically speaking, like poison dark with typing with a levity as an ability is like just is broken and if Game Freak were to release that as a mega it'd be very very broken so yeah and I took advantage of a low muck and it just worked out really perfect so um I knew that I had to like survive against the, the Mega Altaria and the Rotom or like not the Rotom but like yeah the Mega Altaria and like those start off there because those two were like the biggest threats to me so uh, because I didn't really have much for like start after <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I have to sack, like, Weezing and Florges, but if I could burn it and I just get massive chip damage on it, then, like, Ladia can just outspeed, just kill it with, like, Ice Beam. And if he goes to Muck, I can always get in, like, I can always get my I mean, in order, so. The best part about that is I can't get poisoned. The only status I was kind of worried about was, like, uh, Paralysis, so that's why I went for that Reflect type again on Rotom to see if he had, like, Thunder Wave. But yeah, it worked out in the end, so uh, GG to uh, Bear as we start the League 1-0, so our next Pokemon opponent will be Hongdo. Hongdo. I don't know how to pronounce that name, but I'll fix on it. I'll get to work on it, so yeah. Um, anyway, so I'll see ya. <laughs>